Hi there, my name is Marley, and this is going to be an overview of Monday.com and how to track your interior design projects, tasks, timeline, and leads as well. So let's start with the leads. Let's go ahead and add a new lead. So we'll add the client information. We'll say Cinderella. Let's add the location for Cinderella. We'll say glass slipper drive. Okay, great. It just pulls it in and we'll have the project type, which is remodel. And as you can see, the lead stage got automatically added via automation. And I was also assigned via automation as well with a due date. So I have a due date of Friday to get in contact with Cinderella. Let's go ahead and add the estimated budget and contact information. I'll say Cinderella at gmail.com and we're able to add phone number, secondary contact, and let's go ahead and add the source here. Say that she found us through Google web search. So those are all of the columns. Let's keep, let's track Cinderella from initial contact to site visit requested. I changed the status and Via automation, Cinderella comes down to the site visit group. A couple things happen. The due date changes via automation and the lead status changes to waiting on response. So on this date, I get notified to reach out to Cinderella just in case I haven't heard from her. Um, let's say I do and the site visit has been scheduled. The due date then gets cleared out and the lead status also gets cleared out. After this site visit, we go in and say it's time to draft the proposal. Um, Cinderella comes down into the proposal stage right here. And we have a due date of October 4th to finish the proposal. So it gives me a week to finish the proposal. Um, after the proposal has been sent, I change the status to say proposal sent. And it gives me a different due date to check in with Cinderella to see um, if there's any questions that I can ask regarding the proposal. After the proposal has been sent, we have a couple different options as to what happens with this client. It's either that Cinderella says follow up later, proposal accepted or lost. So let's say in this instance, she said follow up later. I change the status to follow up later and she comes down to the follow up group right here. I will take a note because she said to contact her after Thanksgiving. So let's say Thanksgiving is on the 24th. I'll give her a week after that and I'll contact her on December 6th maybe. And then let's take some notes by clicking on this conversation bubble and say Cinderella said to contact after Thanksgiving. I'll add that as an update, and I could even tag my team within, in, in if I wanted to. From here, when this date arrives, I will contact Cinderella, open the update to see exactly what the note was. That's right, Cinderella said to contact her after Thanksgiving. Great, I'll exit out of that view, and Cinderella is now interested, and the proposal has been accepted, and I will change that status brings her down into the closed group and also adds her into the project timeline and overview. Before I do that, let me show you a couple different views that are going to be important on our leads board. We have the map view and the dashboard view at the top. The map view pulls in everything from that we have in our location and it gives it to us in a map of where exactly our leads are located by the different colors. So the colors are the different stages. So Jasmine and Aladdin is in site visit and you can see the location of, their, of, of that client. So we'll see another client, Elsa and Anna is also in site visit and anyone in green would be in the proposal stage. We will go into the dashboard view and see all of the widgets that we have, which are three chart widgets. 
we have the one lost ratio. So it gives us, let me make this a little bit bigger. So we can see here what the one lost ratio is in a very clean way. 64% has been proposal accepted and 36% has been lost. So you can see your one versus lost ratio. If I scroll down, we see a different chart on the overall amount of what has been accepted versus what has been lost all time, just what's on this board. So you will see we have 218,000 that has been accepted versus the 122,000 that has been lost. We scroll down and we see a different chart of the project types by the months. So right now in September, we have a total of $246,000 in the pipeline. Let's see what the statuses or the stages are for all of these projects. 32,000 is an initial contact, 32,000 is in site visit, um, 117,000 is in site visit scheduled, and we have 65,000 in proposal accepted, totaling $246,000 um, in the leads that we have created in September. So this is a good overview of where your leads are and what to expect in the future. So it kind of gives us an overview and breakdown of where our statuses and leads are over the last couple months. Okay, let's go back into the main view. Now Cinderella has been in the last group and closed, proposal accepted, and she automatically gets added into our project timeline and overview board. Close that. So this right here is where we get to keep track of all of our timeline and overview of the projects. So you can see all of the columns that we had in that other board is also added in here. So what was in leads is has also moved over here. Um, with the added columns of project status, project timeline, and days. When Cinderella gets added to this board, via automation, it automatically sets our days to 250 because the system has been set to anytime a project type is remodeled, always set it to 250 days. So we, so it has already set a timeline of 250 days, September 27th to September 11th of next year. This will be 250 business days. So the weekends don't count here, but of course, if you do work on the weekends, we can enable that for you. What we would do is track this project from design to bid set. Once I click on bid set, she would move into the bid set group right here and we would track any updates let's go into cd and cinderella would automatically move down to the cd group as well a couple views that would be really important on this board would be timeline and gantt in the timeline view you're able to get an overview of all of your projects in a very clean timeline view right here we can see that it's grouped by the stages in the left. So we have design, bid set, CD, construction, and install. And if we look at the projects, we see the projects in different colors. If I scroll down, you will see exactly where the colors are coming from. Anything in light, pink is restaurant, uh, blue is remodel, hot pink is new construction, Purple is furnishing, and this coral color, color is commercial. So if I scroll up, we're able to track all of our projects here. I can go ahead and move Cinderella back. Let's say the project is going to start on a different day. I'll say, and it's going to be September 23rd to March 31st. If I change it in this view, if I, I can go back into the main table, and find Cinderella and you can see Cinderella has been changed in this view as well. So Monday gives you a couple different views for you to work out of. Timeline, Gantt view, which is pretty similar to the timeline, just gives you added details. And again, we're still able to move projects here and reflects back on the main board. We also have a map view of all of your projects similar to what I showed you in the leads board. And also we have a dashboard showing you 
charts of your project and the stages as well. So the first chart is um, where your projects, how many projects you have currently in each stage. We have the ratio of the project type. 34% of our work comes from remodel. We scroll down the project amount by the project type. So remodel is at 272,000. New con uh, commercial is at 365,000. And the average days by the project type. So Monday would be able to calculate the average days here as well with commercial and new construction at a tie at around 277, 278 days. So this is a good way for you to track your projects. Should you need additional information on phase start dates, we do have, if we expand the sub items, we did add the phases here. You're able to manually add the start dates and it could be reflected on the timeline if that is something that you're interested in. Again, anything can be changed um, and customized to your project. So the project stages can be changed to what your project stages would be, also, also the project types as well. Let me show you how to keep track of project tasks. There's many ways to track projects tasks on Monday. This is going to be a very loose way of tracking projects where you would add the task right here, set the assignee, add the due date, add the project or the client name and change the status from upcoming in progress need assistance need review to done and it moves it to its according groups so it'll move it to ready to start in progress stuck on hold and completed again this is a very loose way to track your projects monday can have checklists if that's something that you're interested in but if you're interested in seeing more project tasks or want a demo of this in more detail fill out the link in the email and i'm happy to give you a demo and give you more information about monday.com thank you so much